Uh, sanding is not a terribly exciting thing to watch, so I'll just briefly show you what I do and then I'll, uh, I'll do the bulk of it off camera. I'm going to start this because it did come out fairly smooth. I'm going to start it at about 150 grit and just give that a, a quick once over to remove any uh, leftover tool marks or something that might be in there. And then I'll just work my way up through the grids. I'm going to go up to about uh, 800 and uh, call it quits at that and then uh, put a finish on. I'll set my speed a little bit lower. I'll get it down to somewhere around 500. Uh, don't want to go too fast uh, because of the friction involved and it would overheat. Again, it's just a little strip of uh, sandpaper. This is 150 grit and just a matter of holding it up against there. You don't need a lot of pressure. Just keep it moving and go all around everything. Get the end. And this side and the curve in down to the mandrel sizing ring. And to get inside that cove, I generally just kind of roll the paper like that and get it up inside there. Roll it back and forth. And that's probably adequate for this, uh, the first grit. And I'll just work my way up through the grits. I'll go 180, 220, 240, 320, 400, 600, and 800. And uh, that'll be it. Okay, I got it all sanded through 800 grit. It's very, very smooth and it's almost starting to shine all by itself right now. I'm going to put uh, for a finish on this one since bottle stoppers tend to get handled a lot. I'm going to use the uh, Midwax Wipe On Poly for a finish, uh, and this is a clear gloss. I'll probably put uh, two or three coats on. Uh, the drawback to it is uh, there's a drying time between coats, and uh, generally it's about four hours, so I probably can get two coats on today. Then I'll let it dry overnight, and uh, tomorrow we can uh, put the thing together. I just soak a little piece of rag in the and wax, and then I'm rotating this by hand, just give it a good, good solid coating all the way around. And that should do it. I just kind of keep it turning so that the, uh, if there's a little too much on the surface, it will not uh, drip down and form a glob at the bottom. But uh, this stuff sets up fairly quick and it absorbs into the wood, so generally that's, that's not too much of a problem. Okay, uh, let it sit overnight uh, after getting two coats on. So it's, it's good and dry right now, and uh, we can take it off the lathe just by unscrewing it from the mandrel. And we can take it over to the bench and put it together. Assembly of the stopper unit uh, is really pretty simple. It's just a matter of screwing the wooden part we just turned on the lathe onto the metal uh, stopper part from the kit. Uh, that threaded stud that was uh, in the end of the, uh, st the metal stopper also is threaded into the stopper itself. So what I generally do is to take it out and using a, a medium CA glue I'll put a drop or two in the threads, roll it around there, and then screw the stud into it. 
tight as it will go, and then that will lock it in place and prevent it from accidentally coming apart uh, while the thing is being used. By the same token, I'll put a couple of drops into the threaded hole that we put in the end of the uh, wooden part we turned on the lathe for the very same reason, and that'll lock this in place so as it's being used, and these do get tend to get used, it won't accidentally come apart. Now you, you'll notice there's a little hole in the recessed area where the uh, silicone rubber bottle stopper goes. And what I generally do is I this in this case I use a nail set that fits in that hole, and I use that to give me a little leverage to really crank down and tighten that up nice so it seats very nicely and closely all the way around. The final thing to do is to slide the uh, silicone rubber stopper part onto and up into that recess and then we're done. And it's, just, it's a tight fit and it'll fall down in there and once it's in there it's almost impossible to get off again so it's, that's why it's the very last step. And I find just giving it a little bit of a twist like that helps it work itself on. It'll pop in place and then just kind of reform the wings on it. And that's it. We have a finished bottle stopper ready to give away or sell at a craft fair. Uh, I found that these are very appreciated gifts. People really seem to like them and, and like I said they do use them which is a gratifying. And uh, I don't sell them myself, but I understand that at craft fairs they're also a very popular item. So there you have it, the finished bottle stopper. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.